Hello, this is a uh, tutorial on how to uh, enter treatment for and generate Dentical treatment and a Dentical insurance claim. Okay, so we have a sample patient, Cherise Abdo. Her status is patient. There's her birthday, her social, her address, her phone number. The primary provider needs to be DDS. Okay, the way we set it up to keep it simple is that the provider is going to be DDS. Now let me explain. If you go under lists and you go down to providers, we have our sample dentist there, John Sample, but we have two records for him. <clears throat> one under DDS, which is the treating provider, one under bill for the billing provider. The reason for this is because on the Medi-Cal insurance claim form, on the top center where the doctor's name is and address, it has the practice provider NPI, which is the billing NPI. However, on the right side of each uh, procedure, it's going to have the treating dentist NPI, which is a different number. So let's go into bill. As you can see for bill, we have both in the NPI field, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, or whatever your actual billing NPI is, and in the Medicaid ID, which has got a match, okay? You also need to have your license number, the state where you're licensed, either tax ID or social, okay? Now, that's the bill, which is the billing provider. Now let's go into the DDS, which is the treating provider. Now, if you have 10 different treating providers, you could have by their initials, like JS instead of DDS, anything you like, but leave the bill alone so we know that that is differentiated from all the other treating providers. Let's go into the treating provider. Now here I deliberately did it the opposite, 9876543210. So you'll see on the insurance claim form how on the right side of each claim item, each procedure, it will show the 987 number. But in the top center for the billing NPI, it will show the 12345. Okay, so let's go ahead, close this, and let's go ahead and enter treatment. I'm going to go to the chart. I'm going to say completed treatment. I'm going to put in necrotic, examine x-ray. Let's say tooth 15, PA, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, I'm sorry, if I'm doing PA, that's just going to appear below. But let's just say oral surgery on tooth 15, extraction. Okay, so it's showing it's extracted, right? And then I'll do a filling on tooth number 30 on MO. Okay, but fine. So now we're going to go to account the way we normally generate an insurance claim. And I'm going to go to the bottom, <clears throat> to the ones that I just did. I believe it was these three. And I'm going to create a new claim. Okay, but I have to make a change here. The billing dentist is not DDS. It is bill. Treating dentist is DDS. The provider for these items is DDS. Because that's going to use the treating provider's NPI. Okay, now let's preview the claim. And there you see it's going to show it's only the raw data because we have a preprinted form. And I'll show you the other way with the, without the preprinted form. So there is John Sample's billing provider, the NPI number and Medi-Cal number. And there is the treating. Okay, now just to show you on the actual form, whoops, we can actually go into setup of the claim form into the Denical and say print images. And then we'll go back to the claim form and preview it. And you see exactly how the billing provider number under field 20 shows the correct billing NPI and the rendering provider number, also known as the treating provider in field 33, shows the treating provider's NPI. Thank you very much.